Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to our channel once again. Now, for those of you that are familiar with what we post on this channel, you will know that the uh, majority of the information that we provide on this channel are mostly vocational opportunity. So for those of you that are not aware, but yes, that is the type of information that we provide because we believe that in vocational opportunity, it will not make you to break the bank. You will not need to borrow money from anyone or to you know, seek for loans that such that at the end of the day, it will now become a burden. So to an average human that see Jackpot or relocation as an opportunity for them to be able to enjoy a better life for themselves and their family, we believe that uh, vocational opportunity is one of the easiest routes that you can use to jackpot to uh, your choice European country. And I mean, we've achieved a whole lot of success. And I think in the coming days, you will be seeing some of the success rate or some of the uh, testimonials of people that we've assisted to relocate on vocational opportunity, especially to Portugal. I mean, for Portugal alone, we've achieved massive numbers for the vocational opportunity that we shared uh, I mean, earlier this year, and I mean, you'll be seeing a whole lot of information regarding that shortly or, you know, in the coming days. However, today we want to post another vocational opportunity to this college, to the United States. Yes. Now, this vocational opportunity is, is it has a free application. There is no application charges. You can move with your family and the school is also ready to assist you to move with your family. And in fact, it is part of the uh, requirement for uh, all international students that are admitted for you to be able to move with your family if you want to go with an accompanying spouse. And as you can see here, if you want to go with your family, you have to fill another form entirely to be able to move with your family. Now, they have many courses. Now, there is the minute you submit your applications, you can also apply for all the different open scholarship opportunities that are available. Like I said, <clears throat> the school fees that they are charged international students is as low as $1,500 to $2,500, and you can pay them instrumentally. Now, this tuition fee that are charged, it also depends on the type of vocational courses that you want to undertake. So if you are going into courses like in the areas of um, um, health programs, uh, uh, health sciences and nursing and the likes. And uh, so you can expect that your tuition fee might not be the, might not be the same thing with somebody that wants to go into maybe uh, take a vocational course in constructions and the likes. So nevertheless, these are the types of degree programs that they have available in the school. And I'm going to be showing to you the different details about these colleges in the United States and how you can quickly apply or submit your application, depending on if you want to apply or you know, resume by spring semester or the fall semester. So they have many courses available. They have courses in business, ITs, and educations. And for instance, let's say you want to quickly check what are the courses available for the IT space, they have accounting, computer, farm business education. I'm not going to read everything for you. I'm going to provide the link to this uh, uh, school on the video description for you to do extensive research. And if you're looking at constructions, they have many constructions opportunity, electrical construction, carpentry, and as you can see them on the screen, plumbing, water, environment technologies. And if you want to look into the health space, health sciences <clears throat> and the likes, so you'll be looking at uh, becoming a nurse, cardiovascular technology, dental assistant, dental hygienist, health information, nursing and the likes, practical nursing, paramedicine, I mean, and the like. So that will also depend on the type of tuition fee that you'll pay. And they have other courses in manufacturing, in transportation, library, heart and transfer studies. So they have different vocational courses that you can do. And like I said, the beauty of it is that you're not paying any application fee. Yes, you are not going to pay any application fee for any courses that you decide to do. Let me quickly run you through the <clears throat> application procedure. These are the required admissions items, okay? All applications are submitted online, and then you have to read and sign the initial international student agreement. A completed financial responsibility form must be filled by you. 
then for any bank or, or proof of form statement that you want to provide, you must get the bank to issue to you an official letter headed statement showing that the amount of money that you have in that account is what is on the account at the time that you are submitting your um, applications for visas and all of those things. Then you have to also complete a supplementary information form, a copy of your valid international passport and your official secondary school transcript. Yes, you heard me right. It must be in English. So which means for any vocational study you want to do, the minimum educational requirement is your high school certificate. Of course, if you have HND, ND, BSc, and all of that, you can also use it to apply. But the minimum educational requirement is your secondary school or high school certificate. However, for your proof of English, <clears throat> you can prove your English proficiency through either TOEFL, IET, IELTS, or Duolingo English. Let me quickly give you a gist with Duolingo. Duolingo is the cheapest, and I'm very glad that they even accept Duolingo. Duolingo is the easiest proof of English and easiest and uh, cost-friendly proof of English that you can quickly do to, you know, get yourself into this institution. Yeah. Um, because with Duolingo costs you about maybe $50 to be able to do, but if you want to take uh, IELTS, you're going to spend about maybe $200 or thereabout. You know, if you convert that to Naira or any currency that you spend in your country, man, that is going to be a whole lot of money. But with Duolingo, you can practice for two days. And in the third day, once you are very comfortable with every element of the exams, you can go do it on the third day and everything will be done online. So which means within three days, you can easily do it, but while the other ones, it takes a whole lot of energy and time and resources from you. So that's that. Now, uh, the other one is for transfer student only, of course. Uh, if, however, if you're given admissions, you need to apply for what is called a copy of your current visa, which is I-20 on and then I-24 arrival or departure record. So now, if you are going to be accompanied by a spouse or you have children that will go with you, you need to fill this form F to dependent form so we can issue additional i20s form for each of your dependents and now of course if you have any clarifications you have any questions that you want to ask from the school you can easily send that questions to the school and they will be able to attend to all your questions you can send the questions to international admission at sctcc.edu and from what I found while you know speaking or engaging with them, they respond to your email within 24 hours. So any clarification whatsoever regarding any questions that you have or that you might have, you can e easily send them to this international uh, admissions at sctcc.edu and they will immediately attend to you. And like I said, all applications must be submitted online. Now, let's quickly check another thing. Application deadlines. Of course, they have different deadlines depending on if you want to start for fall semester or if you want to start for spring semester. That is what we determine which deadline you need to pursue. So if you want to resume, say, by uh, spring semester, say, by March or next year, <clears throat> you need to have submitted your application before November 1st. So it all depends on the deadline that you want to look at. And of course, your financial responsibility. And like I said, any proof of funds that you want to provide for when you have been offered admission and you want to go for your visa applications, you must get a letter, a letter added statement of the bank to state that the amount of money that you are show, or you, that you are saying is inside your um, bank statement is what is, it is, and it, you know it must be perfectly signed by the bank officials. And of course, I've already talked about uh, the how you can prove your English proficiency. And once you are ready to submit your applications, you can just go ahead and click on apply online and it will take you to the sessions where you will apply for your visa. Now, or where you will submit your application, rather apologies. Now, of course, once you have an admissions for any of the courses that this school does, once you have been able to secure an admission, you just need to go and submit your I-20 visa requirement. And if you want to check what, you know, the visa requirement looks like, of course, you can see more information on what you need to do or document that is required from you to be able to apply for your visa. And if you are looking for student scholarship, these courses, for fine, the, the, the tuition fee are very, very cheap and very, very affordable for almost everyone. Average regardless of your status, okay? It is very, very cheap, depending on the course you want to go for. However, that does not mean that you cannot even do the course for free. 
when you secure a scholarship. So they have many scholarship opportunities. Some require that you fill the form separately from when you submit your application. Some immediately you are submitting your applications. They will ask if you would like to be considered for so, 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 and so scholarship. So which means it is automatic. So depending on which scholarship you want to apply for, which of course it depends on the course that you are going for as well. You can read further information regarding all the different type of scholarship opportunities that they have available. And then if they require that you submit extra application for them, you see, for those that want to go into practical nursing, they have different scholarship, all of that. So depending on the course, read the informations for any of the scholarship that you also want to apply for. Now, another thing is this, this school is very, very affordable. Yes, one of the reasons is because the tuition fee has been fixed up until the end of 2025. Okay, yes, the, which means there is not going to be any review saying that maybe by next year they will review or increase the tuition fee. The tuition fee is, has been fixed up until the next, <clears throat> up until the end of 2025, which is what you are saying here. Now, and to apply or submit your application, it is free. You are not going to be charged any application fee. That is what you are seeing here. And they have different applications. So if you want them to consider you for the school scholarship itself, fill out just one app and you are considered for all scholarship that SCTTC offer. So once you fill out this form here, you will be immediately considered for all the scholarship that SCTTC offer. And it also depends on the course that you want to apply for. So let's now assume that, oh yes, you are not even given admission or you are not even given scholarship rather, but you have admission and you need some sort of financial aid. Now, let's even look and say, okay, what type of, uh, how much is the tuition fee? that you are even expected to pay. Now, like I said, this is the general overview of the tuition fee. This is the tuition, this is the fees that is corresponding to you. So which means depending on the type of credit unit that you want to do, credit unit is talking about the courses that you want to take per semester. That is what we determine the number of units that will be accumulated to that courses. So in a semester, if at the end of a semester, all the courses that you are doing is 15 units for all the courses, that means you are expected to pay at least 3,061.80 pence. And you can pay this money instrumentally. Yes, you can also ask if you want clarification on that. You can ask them how you can spread the instrumental payment. So which means if you are going with your dependent, that means your dependent can be working because they will also issue your dependent a visa to work permanently in the USA. And that means your, your dependent can be working and assisting you with the tuition fee. Of course, your dependent has to either be your husband or your wife, you know, depending on the primary so this is the general overview of the tuition fee. So it now depends, that is for, you know, if you want to attend their courses physically. And of course, for Jackpot purpose, it has to be a physical study, not an online study. So, however, for nursing, those that want to go into nursing, that's why I said the price might not be, uh, might, might be a little different depending on the type of courses that you want to do. And as you can see here, you can see that overall, let's say for a 15 unit course, overall, the max amount that you, you are going to, he expected to even pay is not even up to four thousand, four thousand dollars. So I mean that makes a whole lot of sense. So healthcare professionals, so depending on the different type of courses, you can review each and every one of the courses here, and then the corresponding fee that you can be expected to pay. And of course, I'm sure that uh, you'll be wondering, oh yes, uh, I'm just seeing this channel. This guy, I mean, has not even introduced uh, himself to us. I don't even know which channel I'm working. I'm watching. This is Jackpa with your days. On this channel, we provide relevant and informative relocation opportunity, vocational opportunity to different countries. We've posted to Malta, we've posted to Italy, we've posted to Portugal, we've posted to Finland, we've posted to USA, Canada, different countries. We believe in aiding or helping you to be able to achieve your Jackpa plan by not breaking the bank by not you know straining you financially so and we've seen that a vocational opportunity is one of the easiest opportunities for you to use to jack back to abroad and like i said in the coming days we have a whole lot of numbers that have been able to get uh visas for vocational study that we posted to portugal i mean the numbers are enormous i'm not i'm not joking this is not this is not a sweet talking the numbers are enormous if you are on our telegram group you will you will be seeing the testimonial that people share every day on that place that their visas have arrived, they've gotten their visa, thanking the channel for the informations and for them, to, I mean, for the channel providing the information for them to be able to know 
about this vocational opportunity. And if USA is your desired relocation country, this is another cheap vocational opportunity that you can use to be able to move you and your family to the USA. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel so that by the time we drop information and opportunities like this, you will be the first person to get notification. Also follow us on all of our social media platform. We are on TikTok, we are on Instagram, and we are also on Facebook. Okay, just search Jackpot with your days. Follow us, we drop in and information as we see them fit to help or aid your relocations or your Jackpot plan. So till we come your way next time, thank you for liking and subscribing to this video and subscribing to this channel. Thank you once again for watching our videos. Till we come your way next time. Bye-bye for now.